Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be discussing the favorite technique of Masahiko Kimura. No doubt he was the best at this technique, even till this day, by today's standards. He still had a wonderful technique, absolutely burying everyone uh, competing next to him. Here you saw uh, in Brazil against Elio Gracie, absolutely planting him, which gave him a lot of control and also the upper hand once the fight went to the ground. So today I'm going to be discussing one tiny detail that made his O Sotogari absolutely devastating. And here you learn the example or the difference between a hand technique in judo that can involve the leg and a leg technique that can involve the hands. So here in this documentary about Kimura, the man explains that he wasn't just about really opening up the hands the way you unbalance and then put them down and really mostly focusing on reaping the leg but it's really rather about simultaneously making it a hand technique and a leg technique so reaping at the same time what is called punching the mat and i will explain it uh, shortly so instead of wheeling the lapel you actually just punch down directly which explains all the concussions and why people would ask him please don't do this technique on me when we fight so traditionally or originally you see here it's a very big pulling uh, motion towards you and then you wheel them in however kimura just brought them close to him and punched downwards so there is no that you know circular movement that you see you circle them around you and then you make a big swimming gesture but rather just bring close chest to chest and almost close line them this is what also made uh, ono's uh, osotogari very powerful now here this is what it's called punching uh, the mat as you finish you don't just open up the lapel but you rather punch downward and get the full score and full control but as you can imagine this is devastating if done properly so let's take a look at some of the examples of the uh, various ways of doing this particular technique so here you see you can of course punch down here but you can see a little bit the hand was to the front um, this is very similar so here he's fainting with a sasai and then finishing obviously one of the most popular combinations here for example this is where you understand that it's a leg technique more than a hand technique so here you can just push away uh, on the belt and the skirt and you reap away. So here, for example, you can also grab the belt from the front and it's all about reaping that leg and that's what makes it a leg technique. So you have hand techniques that involve the leg, one of them being uh, Tai Otoshi. Of course, you have Yama Arashi, but it's mostly hand work. So let's take a look at here some of the examples you see he lets go of the lapel after reaping because the reaping of the leg finished and it's it's almost guaranteed a score so you don't really need however kimura really emphasized the hand much like ono when he came to paris and taught us he says focus on like a clothesline here you see another example of the old masters he's pushing away and doing like a big swimming motion not punching directly downwards so as you can see there's many ways of doing this particular technique the lapel you can either use it to really uh, create a devastating reap or to accommodate a devastating reap or you can just use it to guide downwards and not really hurt uh, someone because all the focus is on the leg because it is a leg technique so um, this is uh, mainly why he had such a devastating technique he focused very much on the hands not so much creating circles but rather bringing someone very close to him and punching down and of course the leg did its work but here you see you can do it in various ways very fluent and more focusing on movement rather than just sheer brute strength and we all know kimura was a very strong man so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was Shady and thank you for listening.